hi guys welcome back to my channel how you all doing if you're new to this channel this is fashion for queens you're welcome please do well to hit the subscribe button if you like this video comment on the comment section below let me know what you think and click the like button so these are the measurements i get to using for this sleeve this is the sleeve length and then for my band i'm going to be taking my measurement from this point where i'm pointing so for my wrist here so it's it's the band is going to be like five inches so i'm going to be taking measurements from this point so at the upper part of my wrist which is a little below my elbow i have nine inches that is the higher part of the wrist which i wrote down there and then for the lower part i have seven inches so my band is my band is going to be five inches long so this is the fabric i'm going to make use of this is what i have right now if you have a wider fabric the wider the fuller the the ball the balloon the wider the fuller the sleeve so if you have two yards of fabric i recommend you use two yards of fabric just for this sleeve so it to come out full and well exaggerated so i'll just be folding this fabric into two and i'll cut it off and then see what i can do with this piece of fabric i'm actually going to be using it to cut the, the two sleeves of the dress so we're just going to manage it and if you're doing yours just add so much extra inches to yours so this is the two i'm going to be cutting it on fold at the same time i'll cut the two sleeves at the same time so i'm just going to measure what i have here so i have about 20 inches here so you know we have two steps two steps so i'm going to be cutting out nine inches for the first step my sleeve is going to be an off shoulder sleeve so the first step should be a little bit smaller than the second step so it's an off shoulder sleeve so if you want a if you're sewing a dress with a full shoulder sleeve you have to make your first step very big so you can cut your full shirts sleeve and then exaggerate it very well so the longer the fuller the ball the rounder is going to be so, so i have nine inches for the first step and the second step should be about 10 inches so i'm just trimming these edges out to make them straight if i cut my sleeve so you're going to increase this if you want to make yours a full length a full sleeve just like i said so i'm just going to be cutting this off because it's an off shoulder sleeve okay so this is it we have the first step and the second step of our sleeve ready so the we have we, we just completed two steps now so next we are going to be cutting our band so our band is five inches remember so this is the fabric i'm just going to be cutting the two sleeves at the same time so i'll be taking five inches so our our length is five inches plus one inch sewing allowance i'll just cut this off at once and then our measurement our upper wrist we have nine inches which is four and a half plus half inch seam allowance which is five inches and then the lower part of our wrist we have seven inches which is three and a half plus half inch which is four inches so i'll connect this together and then cut if you cut this straight you wouldn't achieve this fitted band if you cut it straight you won't achieve this fitted band your band will be big it wouldn't be fitted so that's why you have to take your upper and lower wrist so this is the third step of our sleeve now this is the third step so you can go ahead and part this and put your lining so that this band will be firm don't just fix it like that then the last part of our sleeve which is the fourth step is the circle flare now this is 360 flare i'm cutting i'm going to be cutting the two sleeves at once so you use the second phrase the lower is second phrase that is seven inches so it's not up to one inch so i'm just going to mark it there and then cut out the flare so guys i did a video on flare so i want to drop it on the description box and lest i forget i have a new channel a new styles channel where i post styles 
latest styles fashion trends where you can select your styles pick whatever you want lovely style just click on the link on the description box subscribe to the channel and watch our videos thank you so much so i'm just cutting this out now and so i cut both of them at the same time so this is the last step of our our sleeve so i'm just going to place it one after the other so you see how it's going to how it's going to fall in place and how it's going to be at the end of the day so obviously you see you find that you have to join the first and the second step together that's the first thing you do you join the first and the second step together and then we're going to use elastic um half inch elastic to be precise to achieve that gathered look so i'm just going to take it to the sewing machine now to join these two together so after joining i'm going to top stitch it to create a space for uh, to pass the elastic so i'm just going to top stitch like this in order to create a space to pass our elastic so you might want, you just want to do this and so that by the time you turn the front there's going to be a space where the elastic is going to sit on so i'll just do it and show you how it's going to look like so this is it so i finished stop stitching so the next thing you take your elastic and then pass it on and also i also folded the upper part so if you're doing a full shoulder sleeve there's no need for you to fold that part because you won't put elastic in your armhole you just you just gather the, the you just gather it and put it there so i'm going to fix my elastic so i repeat if you're doing a full shoulder sleeve you skip this part so this is it now so if your fabric was longer than mine you find out that your yours will be fuller and bigger so the next step i'm just going to gather this and fix the band and so that is the end of the tutorial guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you you try it out send me a message on facebook i'll drop the link on the facebook page and description box let me see how you did yours thank you guys see you on the next one